Well, welcome everyone. Welcome to um, Summer Art Camp at Anton's and we'll do this virtually for you all. Uh, we're going to do a mixed media program today uh, with um, Elmer's glue and tissue paper and acrylic paint and a magic marker. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, which I've already done just to speed things up a little bit, you do a sketch of our little toucan bird. Thought he'd be fun for the summer with all the colors. And um, the way we do that, even though I already did mine, I'll show you how. I like to make sure that I fit everything in on my piece of paper. So I make a little titch mark, little mark there, and a little mark at the very end. So I know I have to fit my bird within this amount of space, okay? And then I say, oh, well, how wide do I want them? Then I make the widest part, put a titch mark there and a titch mark there, because he's right about in the middle, a little bit higher. And then I just drew two circles, one for the head, and then I came down a little bit and I made a larger one for his body. And then what shape do we have here? Kind of a long triangle, right? So I made a triangle at the base of that circle. And then I just kind of made a branch right here. Okay. And we're not going to worry about um, the details too much other than um, we'll draw in the, the wings. So that is just almost like a crisscross right in here. All right, right in the middle, and then we're going to overlap these. So this one shows to the front, so he's going to be front and center, right here. And once we get those in, then we just have to show that the other ones are there. So this is the top of the wing, right here, and then the other wing. Then we just have to put the extensions here. Okay. Alrighty. And I already showed you, you can draw your branch any way you want. That's up to you. And the other thing is, uh, once you get the circle in, or you have it in, you're going to draw a cowl or his feathers around his neck with just scoopies, however that ends up for you. It kind of overlaps that circle a little bit, if you notice, okay? And his eye is just a big oval. We're not gonna put the dot in right now. We'll paint that in later. And the beak is just a curved hook like that. And then just a little moon shape right underneath there. Pretty easy, okay? So once we have that all done, then the fun starts. We're going to um, put some glue and water in a little cup. And then we're going to, this is, I think, the most fun part. This is watered down glue, half water and half Elmer's glue. And then we take a paintbrush. I'm using my wide one right now. And I'm going to get a little on the brush. And I'm gonna start up in the sky. So I have torn up tissue paper, okay? And I'm for that, as you can see, I'm going to use um, some blue and yellow together. So here we go. Now this might take a few minutes so be patient with yourself. And you want to just have them torn in random pieces. That's what the fun part is. But the trick here, you paint on your paper first with the glue. Alrighty. You lay down the tissue paper. Or you want it crumpled up because then it will give you all that nice texture. So kind of crumple it up a little bit. Pull it straight out. And then it gets all those folds. Lay it down and then just kind of pat it on with the wet 
glue on your brush. Okie dokie. And then you just continue to do that until you get close to your bird. I don't like that long piece, so I'm going to rip that. Just use your imagination and have fun with it. You can overlap it like I did here. Whoops, and it sticks to your fingers, so be ready. some yellow where the parts are not blue. And that's going to be fun because I'm going to overlap some of that. And see this flag? I, I don't want to rip it. I'm just going to fold it back this way so it's going to overlap a little bit. But that'll be fun. Now, you want to stay away from your drawing on this at this point. So if it gets in the way, just kind of Push it with your brush and get it away from your drawing. Here's my yellow. Crumple it up. Might have to rip it a little bit in some of these smaller pieces, or spots rather. And guess what happens when we mix blue and yellow? What color do we get? We get greenish, right? Depending on the on the blue and depending on the green. So it starts to kind of blend a little bit. And you don't have to have it solid because oops, um, after we get all of this put in, we will do a little paint over top of it. Alright, so I'm just going to lay in some quick and this will take you a little bit, like I said. So don't be impatient with yourself. Don't forget to squish it because that gives it that cool texture. And if it kind of crumples up, that's okay. Just make sure it has a, um, a fair amount of glue on it, okay? Start up here. Just kind of random, just however you want it. Happy little sky. Bob Ross. Anybody remember Bob Ross or watch Bob Ross with his happy little trees? Alright, I think we need some yellow. What do you think? I think I need to bring in some yellow now. Put it up here. Try not to make them too huge, depending on your paper size. Oops, see I overlapped here. So I'm just going to Lift that with my brush and get it out of the way. All right. A little bit more blue. So this is something you could even take outside and do out on the porch or in the backyard. Lots of fun. Alright. I bring in the yellow because what is usually kind of yellow up in the sky? Yup, you're right. Sunshine. So to kind of bring in a little bit of light, we bring in a little bit of yellow. Yeah. 
knocks that corner off a little bit up here. I'll put some glue up here. Easy peasy. Alright. So then make sure if you're not using your brush at this point, put it in your water cup. Swish it around really good because that glue will set up pretty quickly. Okay. So I am going to, so I can put leaves on the tree. I'm going to paint my, um, my tree branch right now. And that can be drying while I'm doing something else. So I have some brown paint here. This might be a little bit different color than what you see in the picture, but that's okay. This is a little more red. All right, Mom. I'm just going to paint this up. And again, we don't have to be... ...too um, careful with the texture. We just have to paint around our drawing. So I'm going to lay it in like this. It might be kind of blotchy at first, but you know what? Trees are kind of blotchy. Now I used this blue chalk in um, my drawing just so that you could see a little bit better on camera um, where to, to sketch. But you would probably just use your pencils, okay? That'll be easier. And then you can, you can erase your... Um, drawing if you make a little bit of a mistake. And even if you, you know, do a paint blue, don't worry too much. You can always paint over your paint once it dries. And acrylic paint is really nice that way because it dries very quickly. So this is going to dry very quickly because the paint, the uh, paper absorbs the paint very fast. Let's get under his wing there a little bit. Okay. What do you think we should do? I think maybe we should start painting the parrot. What do you think? I do. All right, let's quick. Now, this is a trick. Never let your paint stay in your brush. Always wipe it out first because if you put all that paint into your water cup, it's just going to make it really, really yucky. So now I can rinse it off and I don't have all that paint to worry about. All right, let's get to our bird. I'm going to paint his head. I'm going to leave that eye white, and you can either paint it white, or you can leave it the color of the canvas or the paper, whichever you're using. Just going to plop this in here. I hope everybody's having a great summer and doing some fun things, like painting or getting out in nature, doing some nature trails, nature walks, maybe Dodge Park or something. That's always fun. Depending on where you live. Okay, so his little cowl here, I'm calling it, remember kind of bumps out away from his body, you see here? So we're gonna, we're gonna plop that in. And here's a little thing that you might not realize as you're, as I'm going along here. If you go outside the line, so long as it's not too bad, it won't be that big of a deal because um, we're going around it with that black marker after we're all done. Okay, so I'll show you. I'll blob it out and kind of see how un... Um, 
curly that looks, kind of blobby. So I'm not going to worry about it though. All right, so I have some orange here in my wing, so I'm going to come down and paint this wing. And again, if I go outside my line a little bit, don't have a conniption fit. If it's too bad, then we'll have to repaint it, but I'll show you when we get there. I'm going to skip the middle one because we're going to make that blue. And I'll do the bottom one, orange. And then the middle, I'm going to go opposite here. The middle um, wing feather is orange. Now hopefully this isn't too muddy. My, uh, my orange paint is kind of getting muddy from the chalk that I used. Yours will be much brighter, I'm sure. It's kind of blending in that blue and the orange. All right, so let's get some blue going. Wipe with my brush, rinse my brush. Really rinse it well down in the bottom of that cup. Just push it down in the bottom of the cup, okay? Get all that paint out. And give it a good little squeeze so that you get most of the water out. And we'll paint his body. too much about these feathers. I'll bring the color close and then I'll draw in with that magic marker. It should turn out fairly good. Fairly okay. Now here's an issue. When we go down to do his feathers, if I'm using orange like I did here, um, and I'm going to use the blue in the middle. Can you see how I have to change the blue? Because if I don't, it's going to, you won't see it. So I'm going to lighten it up a little bit with some white, my blue. So I'll make a light blue for the middle, for the, um, I'm sorry, the wing flowers, uh, feathers. Okay, so I'm going to put a drop of white, oh, I have some white out, sorry, there's my white here, I'm going to pick up a little white and just mix the blue that I already have in my brush, maybe put a dot in there, and then I'll paint the feathers in the middle here, see how that makes that stand out? classes in the fall now hopefully if everything goes well so hopefully you can come and be part of our classes in the fall and his little tail feathers are nothing more than little um, scoops of all the colors that we have to put in his um, body so I'm going to start with no I can't start with blue can I because I'm going to be next to that tail feather. So I guess I have to rinse one more time. I'll bring in that orange and separate the color. All right, orange, we have it. I'm going to put a block there, a little teardrop, and I'm going to skip a space, make a teardrop, skip a space, and put a teardrop. All right. Clean my brush. Come in with the blue. I'm using the dark blue now. All righty. And I'll come on 
underneath, start a blue and I'll go opposite. Blue, skip, blue underneath the orange, skip, and blue underneath the other one. Now I'm gonna start mixing a little bit of, let's do yellow with my blue. Make it kind of a hot green and I'll make another row of um, a different color. Because toucans have, or parrots, have lots of pretty colors in, right? I'll just change up that orange a little bit, just because I'm bored. And we'll mix a little white with it, and we'll make it a lighter orange for the tail feathers on this row. Okay, there we go. And we'll do it down here and there. And let's think of another color we can put in here. I'll let you use your imagination. And I think what I'll do is I'll bring in a little yellow. How's that? We'll match his beak since they're such a pretty colorful bird. How's that? And notice I have spacing. I'll move it out of the way so you can see. But notice I have spacing in between there, and it's going to be okay because I'm going to come in with the, the marker again. All right, so now I should be able to come in here and put the leaves in because I should be dry. Yes, I am. All right, so I'm going to clean my brush really well. And again, I'm going to pick up the tissue paper. This time I'm switching to um, green and yellow. And I have a couple different colors of green, so that'll make it kind of look like a real tree. And I'm going to plop them in there like a leaf would be in that area. Make sure your brush is clean. Oh, I'm seeing mine's a little muddy. We put the um, the glue on top so that the um, paper stays down and it's coated. I'm gonna rinse my brush a little bit more. There we go. I'm trying to hurry <laughs> so that you guys can see this all. All right. So yeah, let's put one down here. I'm gonna use different colors of green, so I'm just gonna. Um, bring in this dark green first and then I'll pick up in a minute some uh, yellow or it, no, let's, uh, I do have some lighter greens so I'll get those okay let's make a See, I'm just going to randomly kind of droop that like that. I can form my paper. Just kind of scrunch it in there. And the more texture there is, that's kind of cool, especially with the leaves, right? You just have to make sure you get the glue on there so it'll stay. It'll dry and be part of your painting. Mixed media is so much fun. You can do all kinds of things. You can do this. You can use buttons. You can use... Um, I don't know if you guys are into sewing, but riprap, it's a kind of a ribbon. You can use ribbon. Um, all kinds of things. I'm going to overlap the sky a little bit because leaves do, don't they? They come up into the sky. Oh, I even overlapped his little tail. Well, why not? leaves and then I'll bring in some yellow for the sky and maybe even fill in a couple little um, blues for the sky coming down. Well, not coming down, the sky is right there, isn't it? He's up in the sky. Our little 
little parrot bird or a toucan. I'm not sure what he is. What do you guys think he is? I'm not sure. All right, a couple blues and yellows. And then I'm gonna show you the last step. We have to paint a beak there too, don't we? some more on. All right. So let's kind of cut it short. You guys get the idea now and you can put as much on as you want. I'm going to paint his little beak. I'm probably going to get a green beak because I have this blue chalk. Yep. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> okay, we'll leave it at that. All right. As I say, you can leave the eyeball white with your paper or um, you can color it in. But I am going to leave it and I'm going to show you the last step, and that is I'm going to uh, take some of the blue and I'm going to grab a little white and I'm going to make that light blue color. And then I'm going to add some water to that. A lot of water. So that it's really, really runny like watercolor. How many of you know what watercolor is? It's real runny. See how it runs? I'm going to even just put a little bit more because I want to make a wash. This is called a wash. And I'm going to come and paint in the sky. with it really, really watered. And if it's too dark, stop. Mine's a little bit dark. And we'll just, you want just a tiny bit of blue in there, okay? So I added more water because I was a little bit dark over here. So just stop if that happens and put more water in your paint. And come around and paint your blue sky. So that it kind of, uh, not kind of, it does, it brings everything together. All right. Add a little more water. It's best to add a little bit more water than for that paint to be too thick. And uh, opaque. Now, you really need to dry this first before you do this. Um, so if you have a hair blower at home, you want that um, glue to be dry. I'm just speeding this up for camera. But once you get all of that done with your glue and tissue paper and everything, you want to take your hair blower and dry it and then put in your sky. I'm going to make a little noise here and we're going to dry this and then the last thing will be outlining everything, okay? Here we go.
So then we take a Sharpie and we just proceed to outline the tree. I'm going to skip over um, the leaves where they're overlapped on the tree so that they stay overlapped. So watch that when you're drawing. Okay. And I'm going to come over on the other side and continue the branch. Oopsie. Be careful with the texture. It might make your Sharpie want to bump. And that, that can skip, a, skip on you. Okay, so there's your branch. Now I'm going to outline the bird and watch how it pops. It starts to pop. Follow your paint. bump just kind of maybe go over it again. All right, let's get his tail. I'll get those wings in just a minute. And then we're going to scoop around these colors because they're individual feathers. so that you don't kind of get out of line. All right, let me just draw through. Now, if it's under a leaf, you don't need to outline it, right? Because it's underneath the leaf. So watch that. I'm going to do my eyeball. That'll help me get that pop out. I'm going to go around it a couple times so that it's nice and big. Now, he has a couple um, expression lines. There's one here and two underneath. You know how those little wrinkles that those parrots have. So we're drawing those in. And then a nice big pupil. And then his beak. And I think we'll back up and look, but I think we're done with that. I think so. And we'll call it a wrap. Have fun this summer. Bye-bye.